And this is exactly why Keith Thurman will always be in my top five when it comes to my most favorite boxers. Look at this right here. How many welterweights do you know who's calling out Terrence Crawford like this? This boy, Keith Thurman, he's different. He's a dog. He's from that era. He'll fight anybody. Y'all talked all that shit about Keith. Y'all talked all that shit about Keith when he was injured. When he was taking some time off trying to heal up. I always say, he's ducking Earl Spence. Keith Thurman is ducking Earl Spence. He don't want that smoke. And I was telling y'all, that man is injured. Let him get right. If y'all know Keith Thurman, man, if y'all know what he's really about, man, go really watch him and... Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Shit like this, though, man, when I see articles like this, when I see the truth being reported and I don't see people covering it and being 100 about it, it hurts my soul, man. You know how long, especially as being a Keith Thurman fan, you had to go through all this shit when all y'all boxing fans and Earl Spence fanboys talking about Keith is washed. He trash. He ain't fought in this many years because he has all these injuries. He's scared. Da -da 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 -da. By the way. Y'all do know Keith don't got to fight, right? Keith, he's a minimalist. That boy got money stacked up to the motherfucking roof. He doesn't got to do this. Y'all don't understand. He doesn't have to come back to the sport and fight these guys. He's good. He's good. He doesn't have to do any of this, but he's doing it because of this legacy, because y'all was disrespecting him so long and not trying to make it seem like he wasn't the motherfucking king at 147 before all these other names popped up. Y'all forget real quick. How y'all going to give Earl Spence all this credit for beating Sean Porter? Barely. When Thurman did it already way before previously. Hmm? Anyways, man, I don't want to get into this. I don't want to get all that. I don't want to, even though I'm technically already in. It's just when I see this and I finally like to see, you know, fanboys being exposed and the biased media shit being exposed. Unfortunately, videos like this, articles like this right here. A lot of people are not going to talk about it because it go against it goes against the narrative that's out there. It goes against the the fluidity of boxing reporting and future videos that a lot of these media people can make. I can't report Keith Thurman told Terrence Crawford, "Hey, yo, let's get this shit started. Let's get this contract written up." If I do that, now all of a sudden I have to go ahead and retract, or I'm 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 um 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 now I'm. Um, I look like a, a liar because I was saying all these things, how Thurman was scared to fight Spence and da, da, da. everyone scared, seems to be scared to fight Spence, right? I love Spence. Look, this isn't like me bashing Spence or nothing like that. It's just, I really hate it when there's so much media marketing and promotion behind one fighter that boxing fans are so manipulated by it. They really think he is the most feared fighter in the world. On reality, it's called motherfucking business. Who has the most dollars to put behind a motherfucking product to make sure all of us think it's the best product out there until we find out otherwise? That's the way the world works, and it's no different in boxing, but people in boxing, boxing fans, fanboys, because there's all this you know, emotional connection behind it, they don't get it. As soon as they start hearing this, or so, as soon as they start hearing something different from their narrative, they think we're dissing your favorite fighter, rather than being like, no, shut up, listen, and please understand how this sport works. Keith Thurman was never scared of Earl. It's funny to me. I remember when Keith was on top, right? I'm just going to go down memory lane real quick. Ah, I'm an old nigga now. So let's go down memory lane. I remember when Keith was on top, and I remember when Earl Spence was calling him out. To an extent, he wasn't calling him out because Earl Spence don't call too many people out. We don't talk about that. But he didn't call out Keith Thurman, but he would say things like, oh, there's a reason why you're not saying my name, Keith. There's a reason why you don't want this fight. You scared. You scared. And Keith always kept the same sentiments. He just said, hey, yo, look, young blood, I want that fight. But work your way up. Nigga, get to where I'm at. Then we can do it. Why am I going to motherfucking sacrifice everything I work for for a motherfucker who ain't at my level yet? And everyone, all you Earl Spence fanboys and all that bush, Earl, all this different type of stuff, right? But did you guys see Earl Spence? One, one of his most recent interviews when they asked him about Ennis? About Boots? Earl said, ain't nobody ducking boots, but he ain't there yet. He got to work his way up. Oh, wait, that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's right. I'll be forgetting people watch shit emotionally. Y'all be emotional, all that type of stuff. Y'all come home from work. It's a long day. Y'all deal with kids or whatever. You got to deal with all types of bullshit. So when y'all watch this, y'all be emotional. Nah, not me. 
I've been on this. All y'all, all that talk, all that bullshit, get up out of here. But let's get into the article, okay? Let's talk about the article. This bad boy right here, Terrence Crawford, write up the contract, says Keith Thurman. By the way, can I also put this out there? No one's calling out Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence hasn't called out Terrence Crawford, your guy, right? Terrence Crawford has directly called out Earl. Earl never has. He'd be like, yeah, I want that fight, but it got to be on my terms. He's never said, Terrence, let's make this shit happen no matter what. There's always a but, what if, and, or, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Other than Keith Thurman, who have I heard call out Terrence Crawford? At that level, you know what I'm saying? At the level where you have something to lose more than you have to gain. That's what I'm referring to. I'm not talking about Boots saying something. I'm not talking about Reggie Ortiz Jr. saying something. I'm not even talking about Josh Taylor saying something, okay? Because when he talks about when we talk about those fighters, you know, saying we want the Terrence Crawford fight, all of them have way more to gain than to lose fighting Crawford. So there's a difference. Thurman has more to lose than to gain fighting Crawford. Thurman's solidified as a fucking Hall of Famer. If Thurman wants to, he doesn't have to fight Crawford. He can um, he can be like, yo, I want to fight. I want to fight Boots when he's ready. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it may be. Or he can, it doesn't even really matter. He, I'm like, he could take like two, three more fights at welterweight. We don't really necessarily know who they are, but we know him, you know, enough where we're like, okay, we, you know, we'll watch the fight where he's good. See what I'm saying? Like at this point, I'm like, he doesn't need the Terrence Crawford fight. He doesn't have to go that route. And people don't understand that. But people still will come out, criticize, and have this funky narrative. That makes no sense. And he, and he's just looking at it, he's like, where is this coming from? But before I go on an absolutely epic rant, let's get into this article because I have not read this article. So who knows? Maybe I said all that. And, uh, you know, like I said, you know, don't be too uh, fascinated with headlines because that's what's really uh, making us as people more misinformed because we look at the headlines and we don't read the actual article. But let's read the article. Let's see if it goes on par with what I've been saying. Because that would be a beautiful thing. So people, this is from, you know, Keith, this is from Keith Thurman specifically, okay? People talk about Terrence Crawford, this and that. I've been trying to tell everybody. It's really simple with Keith Thurman. And that's how Keith, I can, I can imagine him, I can imagine him talking. He'd be like, people talk about Crawford, this and that. I've been trying to tell everybody. It's really simple with Keith Thurman. You can talk whatever you want. You can go on 100 interviews. None of that matters. Where is my contract? And that's why. See, that's how I know Keith is just different, bro. Who talks like that when it comes to Terrence Crawford? I haven't seen Earl talk like that. Ugas talk like that. Manny Pacquiao, Sean didn't talk like that. Keith is talking shit, boy, and I love him for it. He said, you can talk whatever you want. You can go on 100 interviews. None of that matters. Where's my contract? Now, some of you guys might come at me and be say, well, Jamel Charlo was talking way where I don't want to put Jamel in this because – Jamel is just a different breed. Jamel talks shit about anyone, but I'm talking about with the actuality of it happening in 147. Of all the 147ers, Keith is the only person who's putting himself in this position when it comes to that Terrence Crawford fight. So you can tell he wants that fight. And remember, I said it was highly, to me, it seems highly unlikely Terrence Crawford and Thurman happened because it seems like Earl Spence versus Ugas, the winner of that, is probably going to fight Keith next. I don't see why Earl would, you know, if he beats Ugas, he ends up saying, I want to fight, you know, Crawford when Thurman is right there in the same promotional company. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And it can build up the Crawford fight a little bit more. And it can obviously uh, have Crawford waiting longer, which makes him, you know, be a little bit older when Earl Spence actually uh, has the fight. So anyways, Keith Thurman went on to say, you can talk whatever you want. You can go on 100 interviews. None of that matters. Where is my contract? How do you want to do business? That's what this, this channel is all about, baby. Boxing is a sport, but even more so, it's a business. Write it up. That's all I have to say. WBO champion Crawford doesn't get linked to too many fighters since the other champions and divisions are now off the table. That's false news. He doesn't get linked to other fighters because other fighters never call him out the way Tar uh, excuse me, Keith Thurman just did. That's the first time I ever heard anyone call out uh, 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 um, Terrence Crawford in that way. That's absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So that's essentially it. I know it's not a whole lot, but I think it, I, I, like that, that to me, I think that's very significant because you just don't see a lot of people talking that shit when it comes to Crawford. Now, whether or not that actually is going to hold stake, whether or not that's actually going to end up leading to something, I think what it actually does, though, I, I do I, I do think 
Keith Thurman talking this way, it does leave a potential Terrence Crawford Thurman fight. Remember Crawford on the Porter Ways podcast, he said one of the last few fights he wants, he would love to fight Thurman. So I think Thurman is smart because Thurman also knows maybe he has two or three more fights he wants to uh, end with and he probably wants to go for the bigger names. Um, so he's just, he's, he's probably reminding people like, Hey, I still want the Terrence Crawford fight, even though, you know, it's looking like I might have the Earl, the Earl Ugas winner. I want that Terrence Crawford fight. And that's why I love Thurman. That's why he's a dog is because he don't shy away from nothing. No one else does that. No one else has done that at the 147 division. No one else has called out Crawford that way. And if I'm wrong, then please correct me down below Get in that comment section. Tell me, tell me what, what else? Tell me someone else, another fighter at 147 who's talked that shit to Terrence Crawford the way Thurman is. And I'm not talking about someone who's trying to make his way up and build their name off of Crawford. I'm talking about someone who already has their name built. That's real shit right there. And if you disagree with me, God damn it, tell me why. I want to know. <laughs> but salute to the people. I had to go ahead and bring that news to you. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not motherfucking part of the motherfucking family. And if you're not, I don't know what's wrong with you. Get part of the family now. We're going to show you what type of love is up in here, baby. Nothing but love. And uh, I'm out of here, man. Salute.